morning, everybody. We will be proceeding with today's session. Um, I have tried to compile a few of, uh, you know, doable uh, questions since I'm assuming there will be few uh, students who will be doing this kind of questions for the first time, okay? Yeah. So here is a paragraph given to you. Just this one. You have to count, it says enumerate, you have to count the number of spelling mistakes that are there in the paragraph. Very simple thing. Uh, for those who are joining this for the first time, uh, please write your uh, answers in the chat box and address it just to me, though not to everybody else, okay? Uh, yeah, so you have to count the number of spelling mistakes that are there in this whole paragraph and your answer needs to be a number, okay? So try doing this, we'll solve this together next, all right? Please type your answers in the chat box, okay? And send it just to me, not to everyone. Ria, Lavia, wrong answer. Naishi, uh, Shimoli, wrong answer. Ashwi, Tanvi, Kashvi, Kashvi, uh, Maitri, wrong answer. Mahi, Ria, uh, wrong answer. Darsh, Palak, wrong answer. Naishi, wrong answer. Pratvi, uh, Dia, wrong answer. You will be missing few. Naishi, correct answer. Anvi, wrong answer. Most of you are missing one, one or two. One or two. Most of you are missing one or two. Mira, wrong answer. All right, sure. We'll... Okay, Ria, wrong answer. All right, we'll do this now. Mm -hmm. One second. Uh, yeah. First one, it is a cluster of sacred symbols. Symbols is the wrong answer here. Woven into some sort of ordered whole which makes up a religious, religious here is a wrong, is a wrong spelling, religious system. For those who are committed, committed is a wrong uh, spelling to it. Such a religious here, this is a correct spelling. System seems to mediate, mediate is a wrong spelling. D-I-A should be there. Genuine is also a wrong spelling. Mediate genuine knowledge. Knowledge is correct. Knowledge of the essential. Essential is essential is the wrong spelling. Essential conditions in terms of which which is uh, wrong spelling. Which life must of necessity. Necessity is again a wrong spelling here to be lived. So that makes it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct answer is eight. Most of you uh, have given answer is seven. Uh, you would have missed one spelling mistake, probably mediate or committed or essential is quite evident, but most of you, or necessity as a matter of fact. Most of you would have missed on that. Sometimes even religious, you may miss the I also. So most of you had given, had missed just one spelling mistake. So yeah. Any questions anybody has for this?
all right we move to the next one there okay there's a series given here you're given a series what it says is uh, you have to find there's a question mark in the middle this one you have to find which number will replace the series there is some sequence there's some logical sequence to the series you have to find which number you have to write the number which number will replace the question mark uh, i'll again give you time to solve it and write your answer and then we'll solve it together okay Uh, Ria, wrong answer. It's one logic. There's only one logic. There is no addition. There is no multiplication. That's my hint. There is no addition. There is no multiplication. There is no uh, squares, anything involved. Mira, Tanvi, uh, Shruja, wrong answer. Lavya, uh, Vishwa, correct answer. Anshi, correct answer. Meera, uh, Ria, wrong answer. Pratvi, wrong answer. Karan, wrong answer. Uh, Meera, wrong answer. Anvi, wrong answer. Vaipavi, uh, Vaipavi, Ria, wrong answer. Ma Ma Manush, wrong answer. Uh, Tanvi, right answer. Kashvi, uh, Shrujal, wrong answer. Mira, wrong answer. Vaipavi, wrong answer. One correct answer. All right. In this case, the correct... Okay, before I say the correct answer, I will give you the sequence. What is the logic? The logic is that all of these are prime numbers. All these numbers that you see in front of you, all of them are prime numbers. That is the logic behind this. Okay. So the prime number that falls between 109, 127 will be... One one three. Sorry. I'm just writing this. Sorry. They're all prime numbers, and the number that falls between these two here will be one one three. Okay. Many a times we miss the issue that happens. And with me also, it's not just you, it happens, this kind of issue. The issue that happens is we mistake numbers ending with a prime number, uh, sorry, with an odd number to be prime numbers. We associate them very closely with prime numbers, but it is always better to cross check if there are any factors associated with it. Okay. For instance, very simple things that we had learned earlier. Numbers, uh, which if all the numbers uh, total up, I mean add up, like one, for example, one to, uh, one to seven, one plus two plus seven, if they add up to, uh, to a number which is divisible by three, it is divisible by three, six, nine, obviously. Next part, if uh, the number, uh, uh, basically ends with a 5, it is divisible by 5. Simple. 
there are certain numbers which are divisible by 13, 11. You will have to be careful and you will have to check once if the number is divisible by 13 or 11. Those are the tricky places or even uh, 7 as a matter of fact. 7, 11 and 13 are the tricky ones. It is better to just cross check if the numbers are divisible, if that number which you have written is divisible by 7, 11 or 13. If they are not, you are safe. But between these two numbers, the prime number that lies is 113. Okay. Any questions, any doubts? Anybody has any other questions or any statements? Okay, we'll move to the next one then. This is very simple. You're given some characters of some language or they are simple characters. What you have to find is which are the different types of characters that are there in this. There are some characters in this diagram which are repeated. Like I'll just give you an example. This N kind of character that you see here, it is happening here also. It is coming here also. But I will count the number of different characters N as only one. I won't count all. Okay. So what you have to find is which are the different characters that appear in this figure. In this kind of question, just be careful. Most of the time, when you start with it, you just have to cross check if that is getting repeated. Uh, sorry, not rather, sorry. Uh, if uh, what you see here is coming uh, for the first time or the second time, many are characters like this, for instance, this character and this character, they, there's a possibility you might find, find it similar, but they're very different. So any instance of uh, the uh, length of the uh, segments needs to be checked. Uh, which way you have counted more? Tanvi, correct answer. Mahi, correct answer. Kavya, you have counted more. Ashvi, correct answer. Trisha, you have counted more. Shruja, you have counted more. Anshi, you have counted more. Palak, you have counted more. Shimoli, you have counted more. Uh, Pratvi, you are. It's wrong answer, it's left. You counted, one le one is missing, sorry. I'm just giving you the answer, but. Anya, wrong answer. Uh, Twisha, uh, wrong answer. Dia, correct answer. Kushbu, you have counted more. Pala, correct answer. Uh, Lavya, wrong, uh, wrong answer. You have counted more, a lot more actually. Uh, Tisha, correct answer. Zia, you have counted more numbers. Kashvi, uh, you have counted more. Shimoli, you are missing some. Purva, correct answer. Vira, wrong answer. Vishwa, correct answer. All right. Okay. Few more. Uh, Zia, you have counted more. Karan, you have counted very few more, but just more. All right. Uh, Maitri, correct answer. All right, we'll solve it. Darsh, you have counted less. Uh, I mean, wrong answer. All right. Uh, Twisha, wrong answer. Now, uh, what happens is let's just count. Okay, simple. If it's new, uh, we just count. So, one second. 
this is new, of course, new, different, I mean, different, I don't think so, what different, 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 different. This and this, they both are different. Then we different, oh different, another kind of we different. This is also different. This is also different. Why? This is also very different. This Y is also very different than what I saw here because it has an extended line on this side. This one is similar to this, but it is very different or it's similar to this, but it's very different. This is also different. This is different. Yes, it is different. This one is coming here, so I won't count it. Then comes this part is different because I'm looking at it for the first time. This Y that you see here comes here also. So this is the same, I won't count this. This uh, weird shape thing is different than the, what I saw here. This is repeated, it's coming here. This part is coming here. This is counted here. This N is counted here. This part is counted here. Uh, this kind of uh, shape, let me see, have I counted this? Yeah, uh, one second. Yeah, I've counted it here. This is counted here. This is also seen uh, by, I saw this, yeah, here. This also I've counted here. This part is counted here. This V uh, is counted here. This circle is counted here. Uh, this dot is not there, okay. The dot is not there uh, in uh, this one, uh, this kind of shape, this one. This dot is missing, so it's a new shape. N is has come here. This is uh, being counted. This is also counted here, this letter that you see. This V with a dot is counted here. This form is counted here. The next form is counted here. Uh, this is different, P. This weird form is counted here. This V is counted here. The circle is counted here. This V is counted here. This form, uh, one second. Yeah, this form is counted here. This form is counted or not. Yeah, this form is counted here. This V is counted here. And this Y is also counted here. So this is the one. That makes it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the correct answer is 21. Okay. In this case, guys, remember, you literally have to go character by character by character. There is no shortcut in this kind of questions. You will have to sit and literally check if the number is coming and to make your life easy because many a times these questions are projected on the screen and you will be given a, some kind of a, a paper to write. Make a grid, simple. In your, in your notepad, just make a grid of seven by seven. Just make a grid of seven by seven and then keep on crossing. Just keep on crossing characters which are coming different. And all you have to do at the end is just, so you know, you, I, mean, I mean, it's just suggestive. People may use a different method for uh, whatever you want to work with. So, you know, what I would do is I will literally make a grid like this in my diary, whichever is, whatever is given to me. In that, I will actually sit and just make a grid very easily like this. So while you're solving also, like here in, in, in like right now also, the way you're solving, this is also, this is suggestive to do. Make a grid like that and just simple start crossing. If the, like for example, if I'm talking about this character, it's different, I will just put a cross. If the second character, which is this, if it is different, I'll put another cross. So all you have to do is you have to just, you can, you, you don't, you know, you don't, 
end up repeating things. So this follow this kind of method for a grid system like this, it will help you in the exams. All right, we'll move to the next one now. Any doubts, any questions in this one? Okay, we'll move to the next one now. This is very similar to the question that you did earlier, but it is respect to, it is, it is uh, with reference to fonts, font styles. Uh, for those people who are doing this for the first time, when we look, when we try to spot different kind of spot, uh, font styles, what we look at is how the end, sorry, how the end part of the form uh, of the font like this terminate basically this and this font style which i am dropping here they are different because their ends are different then what we look at is the thickness of the letters and then what we look at is also some curves that happen like uh, in in this case a written here in mango versus a written in papaya is different because it is it has curves associated with it which are thick uh, which are you know becoming thicker and then again thinner versus versus the a that happens in peer is very different because it has the same thickness all around okay so in this case all you are supposed to do is count how many how what is the count what is the number of fonts that are there in this figure which is given to you okay you started answering uh, um, Vishwa, Heer, Shimoli, Tanvi, wrong answer. Kavya, wrong answer. Ria, you have counted more. Dia, wrong answer. Tanvi, Shrujal, wrong answer. Vishwa, wrong answer. Pratvi, correct answer. Anya, correct answer. Anchi, wrong answer. Maitri, wrong answer. Vishwa, wrong answer. Kavya, correct answer. Kashvi, uh, Karan, uh, Vansh, Palak, Kushbu, wrong answer. Manya, wrong answer. Uh, Maitri, Riya, wrong answer. Twisha, correct answer. Mira, correct answer. Uh, Lavya, wrong answer. Shimoli, wrong answer. Tisha, you counted more. Tisha and Lave. Lave, you counted way more. Tisha, you counted more. Risha, wrong answer. Once you counted more. Here, uh, Purva, wrong answer. Anvi, wrong answer. Kushbu, wrong answer. Ashvi, that is, I think there's some issue with the answer that you've given. Palak, correct answer. Uh, Darsh, correct answer. Mahi, uh, wrong answer. I mean, cannot be so big. Vansh, correct answer. Dia, correct answer. Rumil, correct answer. Kushi, uh, wrong answer. All right. Uh, let's do this, okay? 
of course, I mean, this is happening for the first time. Banco. Shrujal, correct answer. This is one. Papaya, again, another font, which you are seeing here. Apple. Again, a different font. Very different from what I see in mango because there the thicknesses are changing. But in apple, the thicknesses are same. So a third font. The font of banana and uh, papaya. Uh, can anybody suggest, are they same or are they different? They're different. Different, good, good, very good. So four, they are different because of the thickness and because of the sharpness, this angle. This angle that you see, they are different. Four. Pineapple, very similar, similar font to what I see in apple because A, P, I mean, P, P, L, E, forget A part, but P, P, L, E and apple ka P, P, L, E is same. So pineapple, I won't count. Orange, N, just look at N of orange and N of mango. They are same or A of orange and A of mango. Just look at A and part and A and G or A and part, just simple. They both are same, so I won't count that. Grapes. Again, just look at A of grapes, A of papaya. They are same. Grapes, again, the font is getting repeated, so I won't count it. Pear. Pear, uh, should I count it as same or different? It is a different font altogether because... If I look at the E, like it looks similar to what Apple happens, but if I look at the E part of both uh, Apple and Pear, the endings are different, the thicknesses are also different. Should, should I count that same or different? Yes, sir. Yeah. Different. So the fifth one, Guava. The uh, I'll just I'll just highlight one part here and you will know that it is a different font. Just look at this part. Just uh, look at the way V or U or even A as a matter of fact, the way A ends here. It's different. So sixth one. Tomato is very similar to that of papaya. A. Again, I just look at A part, which is here. They are same. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Um, if I just compare with pineapple, uh, I mean A and E in pineapple and A and E in pomegranate, they are the same. So which means apple, uh, po uh, pineapple and pomegranate, they are all same. So it's a, it's a same font. So the number of different fonts that are there in this figure is number six. Okay. I think most of you, I'm, I don't know, I'm assuming most of you would have missed on, I'll just hide this underline just for the heck of it, would have missed on, I think, Pierre or probably Guava. I'm not sure. But there's a possibility that you have missed on Pierre and Guava. Or those who have counted more, there's a possibility that you have taken, that you might have taken pomegranate as a different font. There's a possibility that you might do that. In fonts, the easiest thing is because it's a spelling that is given to you, you can very easily just compare the letters which are repeated. It's very easy to do that. You can very easily just compare the letters which are repeated. Um, so it should not be that, yes. How is pear and guava different? Just look at that ending. I've highlighted this ending, no? It's curved like this. Little bit. I mean, it's not that much, but it's curved like this. Yaha ka ending sida hai. A ka bhi, I'll just erase one part and you will see the end part. A ka bhi jo ending hai na, aur iska jo ending hai, I'll just draw. Uh, जैसे ये गुआवा है ना उसका एंडिंग ऐसा आता है ए का आई मीन इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स एन एंगल व्हिच हैपेंस लाइक दिस पियर का जो ए का एंडिंग है वो एंडिंग ऐसा आ रहा है समझ आया आई आई हैव जस्ट ड्रॉन दिस टॉप पार्ट ऑफ ए आर यू गेटिंग 
uh, is this clear? Uh, whosoever asked the question. The ending of guava of A is like this versus the ending of pure of A is like this. That's why they are different. Any uh, doubts anybody has? Uh, I hope I'm clear. Uh, have I solved your question? Ma'am, uh, what do we do if the uh, we can't judge using the thickness and the, and the endings? Like how papaya and banana look really similar. Or if the letters are also not repeated. And banana. See, papaya and banana, they are evidently different because ek to Times New Roman hai aur ek wo, uh, there is a different form which is very similar to Times New Roman. I forgot, I'm forgetting the name. But uh, just look at A. I mean, see, the letters are repeated. No, papaya and banana mein A, A similar hai aapka. Barabar. So even if you look at the thickness of A, the way A is written in banana versus the A way A is written in papaya, you can naturally say ki wo dono font alag hai. Aap, you just look at the letters which are similar in this kind of thing. Easily. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Ma'am, if the letters aren't similar, then how, ah. how do you? Then the thickness and your judgment on the thickness and the judgment on how it ends. You have to be very careful with uh, uh, with associating how the letters end with basically this part or niche ka jo part hai. in A the way it culminates here and the way it culminates here you have to judge based on that there is no other way if the letters are not repeated if the letters are repeated then, they, then your life is very easy You okay. have to, okay. yeah, I mean, it's may, you, there's no other way except for looking at thickness, endings, and knots. So these are called knots. Ye jo hata hai na, usko knots bolte hai. Uh, ye jo intersections aate hai, you just look at also intersections. They will also help you. Okay. Okay? You. Yeah. See, if you if you start doing this small exercise, and there are many questions. I will I will also in the next subsequent sessions I will put in more questions also. So it gives you a lot of practice also of looking at how do you observe small small things. It takes it it will dev, you will develop over time. Wo automatically aapke liye. Even I have I I took a lot of time to observe all these things. It's not it didn't came to me directly. Okay, in the subsequent sessions, we will have, we will do more of these questions. So you become, so it becomes very easy for you to spot this. All right. Can you please share all the question, all these questions in the group? I will be, uh, Trisha, I will be putting this uh, on YouTube uh, recorded session and you can see it from there. Is that fine with you? Does that work? Okay, thank you. All right. Any other questions? Okay, we'll move to the next one then. Here you're given a 3D object. What you have to find is the number of stacks, the number of stacked triangular pieces in the figure. So this is one triangular prism. You have to find how many different triangular prisms are there in this whole figure. You have to count the one also which are hidden. Jaise iske andar jo bhi stacking wala ho raha hoga, wo aapko sub count karna padega. Jaise ye hai, things are hidden inside. But still you have to count the number of stacks. In this case, please don't go randomly. Remember to go in a very sequential pattern. You may go from stack by stack. Stack by stack by stack by stack you may go by stacks or you may go by rows your choice but please don't do it randomly do it in a very sequential manner go by go either either ways whichever works for you for me what works is going in row one slice second slice third slice fourth slice fifth slice and sixth slice seven and eight so there are eight slices i will rather prefer to go slice by slice a uh, few people may also 
may also be more convenient. It will also be more convenient if you go by stack by stack. So this is one stack, this is another stack, third stack, fourth stack, fifth stack, sixth stack. Um, okay, you have answered all right. Uh, Twisha, wrong answer. Kavya, Kushi, correct answer. Vansh, wrong answer. Vishwa, correct answer. Vaibhavi, uh, you have to count the stack, uh, the pieces which are hidden inside also. So I think you have not counted that. Wrong answer. Lavya, wrong answer. Kushbu, wrong answer. Meera, wrong answer. Please count the prisms which are hidden inside also, not just which are seen on the outside. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, Rishabh, uh, wrong answer. Shrujal, you counted way more. They're not that number. Mahi, wrong answer. Um, you're, you're missing few, Mahi. Uh, Ashvi, wrong answer. You're missing a lot. Uh, Tisha, correct. Trisha, sorry. Trisha, correct answer. Um, uh, Tanvi, wrong answer. Vaipavi, wrong answer. Heer, Kashvi, correct answer. Maitri, correct answer. Riya, wrong answer. Purva, wrong answer. Shimoli, wrong answer. Kushbu, correct answer. Karan, wrong answer. Anvi, correct answer. Uh, Lavya, uh, Anshi, Pratvi, wrong answer. Tisha, correct answer. Mokshil, correct answer. Trishab, correct answer. Twisha, correct answer. Anya, wrong answer. Anya, wrong answer. Please go sequentially. Palak, correct answer. Riya, correct answer. Either you go stack by stack or you go in rose form. But don't go do it randomly. Dia, correct answer. Karan, Drumil, wrong answer. Shrujal, Darsh, Mahi, Dia, correct answer. All right. Now we'll just solve this. All right. Let's solve this. I, again, I like I said, I, go, I prefer to go row by row. It's more easier for me. You may choose to go stack by stack also. In this case, if I just count what are the number of plan in plan, just the top view of uh, how many surfaces are there in the top view, it gives me what will be the total number of stack which will be happening in row one and row two because row one and row two does not have any deduction, they are fully compact. There are no pieces which are taken out from row one and row two, okay? I'm just count, writing them one, two. So for that, in order to count that, I will just look at the number of faces which are seen in the top view, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> So, sorry, <coughs> sorry. So, row one and row two has nine pieces because in the top view there are total nine pieces and there are no uh, prisms which are taken out from row one and row two. The row three, this prism which is happening here is taken out in row three. So nine minus one, only one prism is taken, taken out from there in row three, which is this part. Okay, so row three has eight prisms. In row number four, this is four and this is number three. In row number four, which is this prism, one more prism is taken out. I'm just drawing the line of, which means seven here. Okay, in row number five, one more gets taken out and I will draw the series that number five is happening, which is this one. This prism which is happening here gets taken out. So row number five has six. Row number six has how many? 
one gets taken out from this part. And in this case, one more gets taken out from this part. So row number six, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, row number six has six minus two, four uh, prism blocks. Row number seven has only one and number two. Two are taken up, one here and one block here are taken up. So it has two. And then the last row has only one block on top. So I will just, all I need to do now is add 9 plus 9, 18. 18 plus 8, uh, 26. One second, let me add it. 9 plus 9, 18 plus 8, 26 plus 7, 33 plus 6, 39 plus 4, 43 plus 3, I mean 2 plus 1, 43 plus 3 will be total number of 46. Few of you have counted 47 also. Many of you, not, not few, but many of you have counted to be 47. So wrong answer. You might have taken one more addition somewhere. Correct answer is 46. It may work for few people. The vertical stacking may work better. You may choose to do that. Uh, for me, I get confused in counting vertically. That's why I choose to go from row by row because it is less number. I have to deal with less number there. That's it. Okay. Any doubts, any questions here? Explain me again how you did it. Um, okay. Extra time, one second. Okay, Chalo, I'll explain you. First thing that happens, the total number of faces that are there in total in row one and two will be nine. That is clear with you, Mira? Okay. okay. The first two rows are nine pieces. So nine plus nine. The third row, which is seen here, jiska surface aisa ja raha hai, this one block gets taken out. So nine minus one, this part will have eight pieces. Uske upar wala hai, which is this one, this series, this row, usme se ye ek aur nikal jata hai aapka block. So 8 minus 1, 7. The another row which is on top of it, in that row, which is this part, which is this series, one more block gets taken out. This part, this block gets taken out. So 7 minus 1, 6. The row which is there on top of it, which is this part, usme se do blocks are taken out. One is this block and one is this block. These two blocks are taken up on the row above. So six minus two, four will come here. The one which is there on top of it, again, one piece gets taken out in this, which is this part. So four minus, sorry, this part and then this part. Two more gets taken out. So four minus two, Two. And in the last row, which is on top, there is only one block. So that's why all I need to do now is add all of this and I will get the number 46. Is that clear, Mira? Yes, sir. All right. Any other doubts anybody has? Okay. We'll move to the next one now. So number, so correct answer is 46 here. Uh, you're given a definition in this case. The definition says privacy of a space depends on the level of closure it has from its surrounding. That is the difficulty of accessing the space from outside the house. How do you access the space from outside the house through a door or a, through an opening, which is there in the wall, okay? 
so if you want to enter a house or a room you enter it through a room through a door or through some kind of an opening you are given a cluster of house which is below these are the cluster of house and all the cluster of house has some kind of opening you are able to see that what you have to choose is which is which is the most private room the, the rooms are numbered 1 2 3 4 5 till 28 you have to see which is the most private room amongst all the rooms across all the houses you have to find that number which is the most private and which has the most difficulty to access uh it's one answer tanvi there are no series of answer it's just one answer vishwa anshi correct answer only one room answer answer is only one room it's not a series rishab uh, okay rishab kashvi mokshil correct answer karan there is some issue with the answer that you have written there is no room 166 Here, uh, here, Prathvi, correct answer. Shrujal, wrong answer. Meera, wrong answer. Vansh, correct answer. Palak, correct answer. Tisha, correct answer. Tisha, Karan, correct answer. Wrong answer. Tisha and Karan, wrong answer. Manya correct answer. Lavya correct answer. Uh, Mira wrong answer. Diya correct answer. Kavya wrong answer. Kushbu wrong answer. All right, sure. We'll solve this. Okay. And we correct answer. Dash wrong answer. Let's see the access. Okay, from one to twenty-eight, we'll go around and we'll check the access. One is directly accessible. From one, the room two is accessible. So room two is partly private. Five is directly accessible, and from five, four and six are accessible, which means four and six has the same privacy that number two has. Then. Three is directly accessible, and from three, seven is also accessible. So two, four, six, and seven has similar level of privacy. Okay, through second, uh, through second level enclosure, one, five, and three are directly accessible from outside. Then fourteen directly accessible, but eighteen has similar level of privacy that two, four, six, seven had. Seventeen directly accessible, so not possible. A nineteen directly accessible, fifteen partially accessible from nineteen. Twenty also directly accessible, and sixteen is partially accessible, and twenty one is directly accessible. Eighteen directly accessible, ten ka, and in order to access nine and eleven, I have to go through ten, and thirteen is directly accessible. Twelve be directly accessible. Twenty two directly accessible. Twenty three through twenty two have to access twenty four even more private because only that space can be accessed through twenty three, and from twenty four twenty five is the most private space because twenty five को जाने के लिए there is no other other uh, opening. Twenty six and twenty eight are directly accessible and twenty seven is also directly accessible. So the most most private space is twenty five number. so the correct answer is 25 okay any doubts any questions in this one okay fine let's move to the next one you're given nine i mean okay this guy has nine cats sorry atul has nine cats who fight a lot with each other he puts all of them into a square box 
what is the least number of square partitions he must use to keep all the cats separated from each other you may use any size of square they have to be square partition they cannot be rectangular partitions please remember that you have to use the what is you have to guess what is the minimum number of square partitions minimum not maximum minimum number of square partitions uh, how minimum a number of square partitions can be organized to keep all the all the nine cats separate from each other twisha wrong now sir So a sure wrong answer. There are nine cards, and you cannot use ten square partitions. Mokshil Vishwa, uh, wrong answer. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, Pratvi, wrong answer. Tanvi, wrong answer. Here, Vansh, correct answer. Drumil, Maitri, uh, Kushi, wrong answer. Riya, correct answer. Palak, Anshi, wrong answer. Twisha, correct answer. Vishwa correct answer. Shimoli Rishabh wrong answer. Purva wrong answer. Kushbu wrong answer. Tisha wrong answer. Kushi uh, wrong answer. Tanvi wrong answer. Trisha wrong answer. Darsh correct answer. Mira Pal uh, Palak wrong answer. Lavya correct answer. Mira, wrong answer. Uh, wrong answer again. Jia, correct answer. I Okay, Kavya, I'll explain the question. Jia, uh, Tanvi, correct answer. Maitri, Dia, wrong answer. You are given nine, there's a box which is there. And in the box, nine cats are kept by this guy. These cats, they fight a lot with each other, which means they need to be segregated from each other. In this guy has only square partitions. This guy has only square partitions, and these square partitions can be used of any can be of any size. You have to you you have to find the number of square partitions that can be organized uh, to keep the minimum number of square partitions that can be used to keep the cats separate from each other. All the cats separate from each other. Okay, wrong answers. Okay, all right. Chalo, I, I'll, I'll explain you. Very, it's very simple, very, more simple. Eh? The square partitions will be organized something like this. One, two, three, and the fourth one. I just need four boxes like this. One, two, three, and four. I just need four boxes like this. This is the third one, okay? And this, it will take care of the enclosure for this, this, the middle per cat, and all the four cats which are there in the corners. I don't need any other enclosures. Just four are fine. Okay. Any doubts in this case? Any doubts? Any questions? <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Chalo. We'll move to the next one then. There is also one more possibility. Let me show you that also. This is four, okay? Uh, I hope I can erase this now. The next possibility, and I'm not sure. Yeah. It could also be something which I just saw. It can happen also something like this. And that's why there were two answers given for this and both the answers are equally valid are you able to see this but in this case this cat 
and this cat will face some issues. All the four cats who are at the corners will face some issues. So two is also what they had considered is two is also to be a valid answer and four also to be a valid answer. Can't we just put the three cats in the middle row in square partitions? Put the three cats in the middle row in square partitions. Okay. You mean, uh, okay, so this is second. This is two as a valid answer also possible. Somebody said three cats in the middle. Okay, let me put that. Uh, Purva, right? So you're saying something like this. Yes, sir? But in this case, all these three cats and these three cats are, you know, they're together. So how do we solve that part then? Purva, you, no, you mean vertical, but vertically also it's the same case, no? So even if I put it vertically, like you suggested here, it will be the same case. Usme fir ye wali cats or ye wali cats, they will fight with each other. So there won't be any possibly, no? Or if you mean uh, something like this also, for instance, essay. But usme bhi ye teen cats or ye corner ke L ke cats should be a problem. Shouldn't be to be more valid since, yes, it is, it is more valid. But why they have considered four is because in terms of fitting in together, you may fit in together, but it's not comfortable. There's possibility, there's a possibility that they would have considered that and said that, okay, we'll consider two and four both. They have accepted two and four both as the answer. For this question, two and four both are valid answers. Okay. But it's just about the comfort level at which two happens and then four happens. Uh, Meera, you want to say something? I hope I've answered you, Kashti. Okay, any doubts, any questions in this case? All right, we'll move to the next one then. We'll do this as a last question, okay, for this session. This will be the last question for the session, okay? Very simple. You just have to find in which direction is this person heated or will reach. Um, for your inst for your, uh, I'll just explain the question, but I'll just show you the direction also. Shown below is a map of a city with names of prominent locations, prominent localities. A man starts walking from this place, uh, Hampal, Hampal Kate. Ampal Kate is the place where this guy, which is this part, this is the starting point of this person. It says he walks towards the west, takes the second right, second left, first left, third right, second left, and walks on the straight part to the end. Where does this guy reach? You're given four options here. Of these four options, only the correct answer is there. Okay. For your A's, I'll draw the directions. It's given here still. North will be up, south will be on this side, west is on your left, and east is here on the right. This is how north is all getting organized. From that, I would make this part. Try solving this, we'll solve it together, okay? Like we did earlier. Try solving this for yourself now. You may write the name of the city or you may just write locality or you may just write ABCD. Trisha, uh, Mokshil, Vansh, correct answer. Lavya, correct answer. Mahi, wrong answer. Dia correct answer. Gia correct answer. Vishwa wrong answer. Palak 
uh, Palak correct answer, Tisha wrong answer. Pratvi wrong answer, Riya correct answer. Maitri wrong answer. Riya correct answer, Maitri, uh, okay, I have said that. Uh, Kashvi correct answer, Shujal wrong answer. Tanvi wrong answer. Jimit wrong answer. Anshi wrong answer. All right, chalo, let's solve this, okay? From Hampal Kate, this guy moves towards the west. The west is in this direction. So he takes this path. When he takes this path, he it first takes the second right. The first right comes at this juncture, and then this is left, so there is no possibility to take a right. This is the second right. So at this juncture, he takes a turn, which is second right. Second right ke baad, he takes second left. First left comes here, second left comes here. He takes left. Here. Then he takes a first left, which is on this direction. He takes a second left here, and then he takes a first left here. Okay. So from this side, he goes, takes the first left, which is here, which I have taken. Then comes the third right. After the first left comes the third right. First right comes here, second right comes here, and the third right comes here. Right, Madlab, this side. He is facing downward, so right will be on this side and not on the opposite side. He takes the third right, then takes the second left. After the third right comes the second left. So first left at this junction, this is the first one, and then comes the second left. Second left uh, this way. So he will be moving in this direction. Oh no, sorry, 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 I mistake. Mistook it. One second. For, this is not, this is just a right junction. There's no left junction involved here. So here he comes, he takes the first, this is the first left. He goes ahead. This is the juncture where only right is involved. So there's no left. And then this is the junction, which is the second left. So this is first left and this is the second left. And then from here, he keeps on walking straight till the end of the path and then reaches Kandivali. Okay. In this case, like I, I mistook also, it is very easy to get mistook on which is the first, which is the second left. This kind of question, just remember one thing. North, South, West, East are the constant direction. They cannot change. The left and the right can change based on the way the person is moving. Like if I'm moving forward, my left direction will be very different versus if I'm moving uh, backward or towards the side. So the left, right can change based on the person's orientation or the way the person faces towards but the north, south, west, east are constant. The north, south, west, east cannot change with reference to any person. Okay. So the correct answer is Kandivali A. A is the correct answer. Any doubts, any questions here? Okay. Chalo. I'll see you all in the next session. If you have any doubts, please uh, contact Pratik in that case, okay?